guys welcome back to another episode of medieval dynasty so we've got uh, quite a bit of progression um last episode we got a few things unlocked and uh I, I did unlock the bench but we don't have the table yet uh i want to work towards that today and we'll see if we can't unlock some other things as well we do have a bow but we don't have any arrows so we're gonna have to see if we can't craft some of those up then we might be able to go hunting uh, a little bit easier. So I want to make sure. Okay, I don't know. I don't think she has a axe, tell you the truth. So we should probably craft one of those up. At least two to be sure. Uh, we do have a little bit of coin, but uh, I don't think it's enough to purchase something that we need. So let's see here. Let's. I think I put the stones... Um, Let's see what we need for actually crafting up an axe. Ten sticks, two stones. So let's craft up three of those. Uh, we're going to need... 30 sticks. So we'll go... 30. And then we can go grab a few stones over here. This should be more than enough. And then we'll craft that up. Alright, so once we've done that, uh, we can start working towards um, selling some stuff, I guess. Uh, we do have those buckets over there. Uh, at the moment, we still need to unlock the next quest. So that might take a little bit of time. In the meantime, though, we might be able to do some gathering and get some stuff that we need. Not sure why she's still sitting. Um, I would think she would have work to do, but so I'm pretty sure I can hear him. I just got stuck. Oh, he's not in here either. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe it's just too early in the morning for them. Alright, so we do have these uh, buckets though, so we can sell those. Uh, maybe we can go into town and see if there's anything that we can actually do there. Um, we do have that other quest that we still need to do as well. Um, find out what's wrong with the delivery, and then there's another one that isn't on the list there that we still need to do as well. Uh, but it's quite a journey from here. It's like way over.
right, so I ended up going mining, and it looks like we have a couple issues, and <laughs> I think I know what the issue is. Um, probably too many logs and stuff in here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take like 10 of those out, and put that over here in our stockpile for the moment, and I should help with the, uh, thing there. is it going to, yeah, perfect, all right. Um, now we should have a little bit more later on, but I'm going to take these planks at the moment and then we're, we can get a little bit more buckets from that. We'll just start stockpiling the buckets and that way uh, when we have, I don't know, like 10 or so, we can take them into town and then we can get some coins for them. Um... Yeah, and I got some limestone, so we can start upgrading some of the other parts of the house on that one. I'm just going to drop these buckets uh, right about here. That should be good enough. All right. If I wanted to pick them up, like uh, move them, then I could put them over here, but they have to be single, and that takes a little bit of time to do. All right, so I'm going to need my hammer, that's for sure. And then I think we have a little bit on this side that we still need to do. And we actually have two hammers, oddly enough. Then we'll go mining again, get some more limestone. I think we don't need too much for... What am I looking for? Upgrade. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that one's done. And this one requires... Yeah, we can do the doorway for this one. We have six here. Uh... This requires eight, and that one I think requires four, so we need eight, nine, ten, twelve, I believe. So, put the put this over here for the time being, and then we'll go back and do some mining. Uh, we can also, we also have like a, a building trance thing as well. You might see that little indicator on the side there, uh, next to the food bar and water bar. That's, um... Allows us to build a little bit faster each time that it goes through a different level as well. Uh, can we actually mine here? No, we can't. It's just uh, rocks. There's a couple rabbits here as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've just been mining over in this area, uh, generally. It's not too far from the base camp, but it still gives us a little bit of a walk. There's more rocks over on that side as well that we can try mining from as well. I um, don't know which ones I have mined already.
Alright guys, welcome back to fall. So today we have all the leaves have changed. There's different um, uh, environment things as well. So now that our beets and stuff are ready, we'll be able to... I think we have beets and carrots and then some cabbage as well. So we can make a lot of food for the winter for that. And uh, as you can see, the whole environment has, has changed as well. Now the leaves are kind of like a yellowy brown uh color and some of the some of the more prominent trees like the pines still have green i i think they're pines or spruce i can't remember i think they're pine and uh, you'll be finding a lot more mushrooms on the ground which are basically the equivalent of the different things that you can find for food and stuff like summer has berries uh spring i can't remember what ha it has but there's different flowers for spring and um uh, summer so yeah there's it, it's really nice to actually see and again we have a lot more nodes that have regenerated like the fish would have regenerated all the animals as well so we have more supply for meat and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some of these and we'll see if we can't get some seeds from these so we got five from that I want to see if we can't Double our uh, production. So we've got 11 seeds. That was... 2, 4, 6, 8. So, yeah, we got a little bit more cabbage, that's for sure. Um, as far as beetroots, we still have two beetroot seeds. We might want to purchase some more then. Carrots, we have four. So we can grow more carrots next year as well. And I'm going to put those in our storage here. Uh, these things don't actually spoil, that's why I'm storing them in here. Uh, we're going to need to start stocking up on... Um, certain things, like uh, fertilizer and stuff. But we have some beetroot, some carrots. I'm not sure if we can actually cook things with that just yet. So let's take a look. Uh, beetroots we have... To unlock that, it's 150 for that. Carrots, only a hundred. So we can definitely utilize those as well as the cabbage that we just got. We got like 78 cabbage, so that's really good for what we need. We can actually start producing um, more higher, higher quality foods now. So our villagers might be a little bit more happier with, or at least require less food. So we're just gonna drop those for now and then that way it doesn't spoil. Um, I have the spoiling disabled as well, so it's just a little bit easier. Plus, if you want to decorate with food, then you can.
Alright, so we got a lot done. We got most of the house built. Uh, there is some stuff that we still need to do in order to finish this house. Um, first thing that we need to do is put on the roof, uh, which means we need like uh, 24 planks, I think, if I remember correctly. I think it's like 6 per thing, so... It's about 12 per side, 24, it should be 24. And then this house here, we have um, this this basically set up. So basically what we've got going here is we just need like just one more limestone to finish that. And these guys will be a little bit more happy. Um, building that second house there. And then that will open up the crafting station for being managed. Um, looks like we just got another rabbit as well. Um, anyhow, uh, with that being said, uh, we have to hunt a fox or a boar next. Now, foxes can run away, boars kind of attack you, so depending on what one you want to do, uh, there is foxes really nearby. There's actually one, uh, just back here somewhere. I saw him just a second ago. Uh, he was right where that rock was, but I think he went into the forest. So we'll have to see if we can't hunt him. Uh, next episode, it will be kind of like a running game. We'll just have to keep chasing him until he basically go down, goes down. But we have a bow now, so we can definitely um, put some expense to our arrows. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.